Hello, my name is Anna, I'm a digital fantasy artist, and today I'm going to be talking about the polemic question of will I hate art if I turn it into a job? Which most of the times is used as an excuse to not even try to go professional. So let's get right into it. So will I hate art if you start working with it and as Some of you might know I am a professional digital artist, so I've been working with digital art professionally for a year and I've been practicing digital art for since I was 12, so it's been almost 15 years. And my answer to this question is no, you will not hate your art just because now you're working with it professionally. You might actually hate art anyways because of how hard it is, but you won't hate it more because it's now your job. And I feel like so many of us want to go professional and feel like it's impossible because the art environment and the community is really hard for you to actually get a, like money from it. But having the fear of hating your hobby because you turned it into a profession is just unrealistic because eventually you hate your hobby too when you're doing it like you're gonna get frustrated with anything and it's not because it's your job that it's going to get worse for you but i feel like a huge question when people are trying to decide what to do with their lives is when they ask themselves if they choose to work with something they love if they will eventually hate it And I feel like that is rooted in the idea that we can only work with one thing throughout our whole lives. And that is what we'll be doing all day, every day. But this is really not true anymore. Like more and more people are choosing different jobs and changing their professions. I feel like this is just an old idea that you're going to spend 50 or 40 years in the same place with the same people doing the same job. Like I feel like... In 2024, especially the Gen Z and more people that are entering the workforce, we don't want to be stuck to one job our whole lives. And that, that is why I feel there is this rooted fear of getting tired of the profession that you choose. And it's just really unrealistic because you can always change if you get tired of it. And it's not because it's your job that you should get something you don't like. It just really doesn't make any sense to me. And this is the argument that I want to explore. Because if you think you're going to get tired of working with something you love because it's your job, then what is the answer to that? To work with something you hate so you can maybe work on your hobbies in the weekend? This won't make you better at art or make you have an easier time with it. I feel like this idea is just rooted on having a nasty job that you will quick that will just quickly like pay your bills for you to have one or two days of freedom, which is a total fallacy. You will just end up giving up on your hobbies and art out of exhaustion. It's just really unrealistic to think about having a job where it's just going to pay your bills and and just you know you just spend eight hours a day on it and then you can go home and have fun like you're going to be so tired and that is why I feel that even if you are afraid that you're going to get bored in a job that you chose because you love it it is better to live with this fear and end up changing professions afterwards than working a job you hate only because you're waiting for the weekends to come so you can actually do something you love, like art. But I feel like this idea is, in general, really rooted in the simple fact that people use it as an excuse to not pursue art because of how hard it is to actually make it in the art industry. I have a whole video about why you really need to want art if you're pursuing art and if you're confused about the career path please check it out i'll leave the link here but when i hear people talk about the fear of falling out of love with art because it's now their perfection i actually understand that you're just afraid of failing altogether 
So it's not really about getting bored inside your hobby. Maybe you're actually just telling yourself that because you're afraid of never making it inside your hobby. So you rather work a boring nine to five in something that doesn't really bring any creative side to you than try to be someone that does something that you would really, really love. And being an artist nowadays is actually less about making art and so much more about managing business and marketing. And I feel like with most professions, it's like that right now because social media is really just making everyone need to be in TikTok and YouTube and Instagram to literally do any job nowadays. But it's really important to think about that when thinking about pursuing art. Because as a professional artist, you will be making art only for a certain amount of time. So there isn't anything, like there isn't a real reason to be afraid that you get tired of it. It's really funny when people ask me like, do you get tired of it? Do you get tired of making commissions, painting things that you didn't choose to paint? And then I, I'll answer them that, Most of the times I'm actually managing a business. I'm actually talking with people and creating contacts. I'm making these YouTube videos that I love to make. I'm filming my process. I'm studying. There's so many diversity that a profession brings to you, especially a creative one, that it's almost impossible for you to get bored. And especially in art, even if we didn't have the business side to it, even if you only painted, you would paint so many different things that is really hard for you to get bored. Like you can study so many different subjects. There are so many different types of animals, so many people, different cultures, different situations. So it's really easy to honestly never get bored inside of this profession. But I will say that the only real problem we suffer as professional artists that can indeed make us hate art is burnout. But honestly, burnout is a risk for anyone in today's day and age. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather feel burned out by working with something that I love than burned out from a job that I hate. It's always better, in my opinion, to at least like a bit of what you're working on. You don't need to love it to death. I know, again, that art is such a privilege, especially knowing how to paint and working with art. It's really such a privilege. I have a whole video talking about talent versus privilege, if you want to watch it. But I still rather still work a nine to five on something that I like a little bit or something that brings some sort of happiness in my life. And I feel like the idea of working a job you don't like just to pay the bills is a nice one, but it really isn't sustainable long term for your mental health. And again, I'm honestly talking in a privileged place because there are some people that just need a job. They don't have the privilege of choosing it. But if you are listening to this video, you either want to make it as a full-time artist or you're thinking about having an art career in some way. So you are already privileged because art is privilege. So I hope that you understand the privilege you have of choosing a career and choosing a job and you make the right decisions. And I'm going to say again, you don't need to love your job till death. And you don't need to wake up happy every day. I think no one wakes up happy every day. I don't wake up happy every day, even when I'm working on something I love. But please don't think that you prosper in any area of your life if you're busy working on a job you hate. And even though burnout is scary, it doesn't really mean that you hate art. You just need a little break from it. And that's totally understandable. We need to remember that art isn't a race and we're not just machines. Take it easy. Sometimes the best place for creativity is boredom. 
is when you aren't doing absolutely nothing. And some people argue that commissions can take your passion away from art, but I feel like if you have a balance between personal work and commission work, you will actually find more pleasure in bringing others' characters and visions into life. So you don't need to think about commissions like a little prison that you can't express your creativity. No, you can and you should. Like, try to get what the commissioner tells you and make it even better. But you should always paint your personal art as well so you can feel less pressure and more freedom in your art and you don't run the risk of burning out. But as a professional artist, there is indeed still an irrational fear that our passion for our art will blow out like a candle on a random Tuesday. And while I do understand the fear of suddenly waking up and not wanting to paint anymore, actually, I can't even imagine it, but I do understand it's like an irrational fear. It's like thinking, it, it, you, it's like thinking that you're partner is going to leave you, you know, but using this example, like you need to think about working with art like a romantic relationship. You love your partner and you want to be with them, even though you know that any of you two might fall out of love and decide to leave. But you accept that thought and that fear because you would rather try and work things out with them than get paralyzed with the thought that either of you might just stop loving each other. I really like to make these types of analogies in my video, and I feel like it's exactly this, like, I love art and I want to do art for the rest of my life, even having the fear that one day I will wake up and it's going to be really boring. But it's just a fear and it hasn't happened yet. And it's a condition in life, like, you can just change and become a different person every single day. And that is okay, like, I, I will just change professions if I start hating it. But it's not like a certain rule, like I can't tell you guys, oh, if you start working with art, you will hate it. Actually, no, I think most of us are actually really happy that we are able to work with art. And I, that's why I, I'm telling you, I don't think you're gonna hate it because you're working professionally. I think you might hate it because you're a different person eventually but not because you started working on it as a professional. And being a professional artist is not easy. You will need to paint even when you don't want to, and you will need to study an object that you hate to paint just because you need to learn to paint them. And sometimes art will feel like a breeze. You're gonna wake up and get the project done in seconds. Other days you spend five hours looking at the blank canvas and having imposter syndrome or working a painting for a whole week only to hate it and delete it in the end. But that's just how it goes. What never goes away is the feeling that you're doing what you want to do. And what never goes away is the memory of the day you decided to start painting and try to get to a professional level. And while that little flame is still burning, nothing on earth will stop you. Sorry, I got poetic because this is literally my passion. But that is basically that. Um, the true intent of this video isn't to make anyone go professional. It's not because you like to sketch eyes instead of doing math in middle school that you should go professional. It's just, I just wanted to calm your heart and tell you that your passion won't die out just because you're working professionally. But please think about going professional in art really carefully because it is really, really hard. And please leave down your experiences in the comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, I am here to answer anything that you want. And that's basically it. This is a commission piece. I finally got commissioned last month and i was really 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 proud and i will make some videos about how to get costumers and how i got my first commission so please subscribe and leave a like again my commissions are open so if you're interested i can paint a character for you and if you like my videos please tell me and comment down below and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye